had the fastest time of anybody in the final, but didn't even win an Olympic medal. It happened here, and Kathleen Sullivan has the story. When Thomas Farner returns to his home in West Germany, he'll take with him an Olympic record, but not an Olympic medal. Chalk it up to a tactical mistake. Farner, a swimmer, was entered in the qualifying heats to the 400-meter freestyle last Thursday. Farner wasn't too worried about qualifying. In fact, his plan was to swim slowly enough to be placed in an outside lane for the final, where he'd not be seen by the faster swimmers. But the plan backfired, and Farner swam 355.26, too slow to qualify. Farner touches in 355.26. The other two, Smith 355.65, Canavino 355.92. Those times may not be fast enough for any of those three to make the final. That evening, he was in a dressing room as George DiCarlo of the United States won the 400, setting a new Olympic record of 351.23. So once again, the United States has gone gold and silver in a men's event with George DiCarlo fulfilling his dream of winning an Olympic gold medal. But Farner did have a chance to redeem himself. This year, the eight fastest swimmers who did not qualify swam in a consolation race. And that's how it came to pass that Thomas Farner of West Germany set a new Olympic record of 350.91 in an event in which he officially finished in ninth place. Farner admits that his record is not the same as a gold medal, and next time you can be sure that he'll remember slow and steady doesn't always win the race.